Fettuccine Alfredo, Alfredo De Lelio, the famous chef from Rome. We're going to talk about him today. I'm Chef Jasper, and I am going to create a wonderful dish in the kitchen today that you're absolutely going to love and best of all it's only three ingredients that's right this is so simple and all we need to do is start preparing our pasta well the pasta is already prepared but i love the fettuccine egg noodles in the nest we're going to drop them right into some boiling water it doesn't take long because these are pretty thin and I highly recommend the egg noodles. Okay, from there on now, all we need to do with this boiling water is just, and this pasta is just stir this lightly. Let that pasta come apart. We don't really want to disturb it much. The water is boiling, of course. And let's talk about the ingredients. Now, Alfredo de Lelio, he was famous for this dish amongst others at his Roman restaurant, Alfredo El Vero, and that's the original. Now there's other Alfredo restaurants around the world. This is the original where it all started with Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks, some old time actors. They were enjoying dinner at the restaurant while making a movie in Rome and they were there like two weeks and after the second week, they presented Alfredo with a golden spoon and fork, which is still on display at the restaurant. And they were so fascinated and obsessed with this dish that he made tableside. I'm gonna create that for you now because the ingredients, a little bit of Parmigiano cheese, butter, yes, butter, maybe just a little touch of pepper, and the pasta, that's it. What's missing, you're probably saying, is he not gonna add heavy cream to this? No cream, the butter is rich and creamy, and you'll see. Let's just give this pasta a stir again. Ah, look at this. Maybe about three minutes with the egg noodles. That's about it. We'll continue cooking this. Ah, uh, the pasta is almost ready. We're about a minute away. I'm just gonna cut this butter, it's softened butter, right into my platter. Yes, right into the serving platter. Look at this, that's all you need to do. But you know what? It's going to melt, and you know why? Because of all of the hot water that's left on the pasta. Just like that. And now we may just put a little dab of water in there when getting the remaining pasta, and that's okay. There's nothing the matter with that. Did I tell you this was easy or what? Okay, here we go. Just a little bit of water, that's all. Immediately, we're going to add our cheese. It looks like a lot of cheese. But remember, this is your whole sauce. This is it. This is everything right here. And now, we have to work quickly. And guess what? That butter is already melted. Look at that. And it's turned into a beautiful, creamy dish. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. The smell, seriously. The nutty cheese flavor. You could just smell it right here. It's all melting. The butter is almost finished melting. And that's it. And now we have to work this pasta a little more. There we go. This is it. This is my recipe. I'm excited. You can make this at home in less than 10 minutes. And this is the original dish as made in Rome. Still today, I love to visit the restaurant. I take friends and family there and they all rave about this simple and delicious dish. Now, a little trick. If you think the pasta is a little dry, a little water. Now, we're not talking about cacio e pepe. But the pasta water kind of brings this all back together. Cacio e pepe is the salt and pepper version. But just a little bit of the boiling water along with that butter. 
and cheese and you have a dish that not only am I honored to serve my family and friends at my restaurant and at home, but your family is going to love it. From my kitchen to yours, Mangia Bene, the original fettuccine Alfredo.